Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, little video here. Now, not every single atheist is guilty of the things that I'm going to present there. But a lot of them are guilty of everything. And atheists, if you're honest with yourselves, you know that lots of atheists are guilty of this shit. So with that said, it is time for 10 reasons why atheists suck. 2013 edition. Number one, straight up, they got a big fucking attitude problem. They give shit to people left and right. You don't believe in a god, okay? But does that justify giving attitude to innocent people there? <laughs> no, it doesn't. You're just bullies. You bully religious people. You have a bad attitude and you're a bunch of failed trolls. Number two, a lot of them are just fucking copycats. You can see it. Young guys there, they're like 15. <laughs> the, uh, this gay monster! You know, it's just stuff that they hear from other goofballs and they repeat the same shit that's, that's not intelligence there. Oh, I don't like the term atheist. I'm not a finger painter. I don't need a term for not a finger painter. You know, then they, they uh, oh, I'm an atheist, look at me, you know. Oh, I don't like the term atheist. You know, just shut the fuck up. Bunch of copycats, you can see it. Number three, they're hypocritical when it comes to fate. If I believe in a god, I'm a, a, a dumb person, I need to go back to school. But if they believe in multiverse, which cannot be proven, apparently they're geniuses. <laughs> if they believe in all sorts of monkey theories that can't be proven, they're geniuses. But if anybody has faith about something, they're bad. You know, <laughs> fuck you. Number four, they claim to be more intelligent than people that believe in God, stuff like this. And you are not. You simply have a different belief system. You believe that fish can become monkeys and then they become scientists, <laughs> whatever. Um, you know, and in, in all of this crap there, it's full of stuff that you have to bypass, stuff that's impossible. And <laughs> the whole Big Bang all the way to evolution. It's full of shit that's like 1 in 20 trillion that can't possibly happen mathematically or scientifically. And you simply believe it, you know, that doesn't make you more intelligent. And just because there's lots of atheist scientists doesn't mean that you're smart like those scientists. And there's a lot of Catholic scientists too, but I'm not petty enough to try to use that to justify my belief. All right, schmucks? Um, number five, they think not all of them, but a lot of them, they think that they can take down religion. They look at guys like Sam Harris, He's going to say that terrorists kill people, so every religion, even the nice ones, need to be shut down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to take that religion. <laughs> you ain't going to do jack shit, all right? Keep jacking off in your mother's basements there with your pink unicorns or whatever. Um, number six, they like to dish it out but they can't take it. They can come on your page and talk shit even though they have high morals which they don't need, you know, God to give them morals there. They claim to be, you know, full of morals but they'll talk shit on your page and if you talk back to them Oh, that's not Christian-like! So basically they can talk shit and if you talk shit back they they use some kind of loophole to try to hide from criticism. They'll talk about your beliefs. If you question evolution or different type of beliefs that atheists have. Oh, my beliefs have nothing to do with atheism. So I can judge your beliefs, but you can't judge mine. You know, I call that being a straight up fucking coward using loopholes to, uh, to do one-sided attacks 
while hiding. You know, I find that pretty fucking lame. Number seven, they're big time sheep for science. Straight up. Everything fake except science. Science rule. You know, just shut the fuck up there. Mah, mah. Um, science is not the authority on life there. I mean, really, get over it. Number eight, the whole thing with the burden of proof. They can claim that evolution is a fact. They can say whatever they want about your religion, but they don't have the burden of proof. It's us that has to prove it. Well, if you want to destroy religion, you know, shouldn't you claim or like prove that it's fake or something? I don't know, you know, you want to, to claim it's a fact that God doesn't exist, shouldn't you prove it or something? I don't know, just a suggestion. Number nine, they act like a religious group, okay? They get together, they sing songs, they look on the bright side of life. They post like religious style messages in buses and different places against God. They have their leaders like Richard Dawkins, you know. They act like a cult straight up. They have like organized groups of atheists and stuff. So if atheists isn't a religion or a cult, why is it? You know, full of organized groups that are spreading their dogma and propaganda. You know, you guys act like a religion. And number 10, they're like super pro-abortion for some reason. You know, I can understand their... I can sleep with who I want and not take care of the baby because I'm pro-choice. You know, whatever there, I'm not here to talk about abortion. But um, ATS, it's a little weird there. Oh, a baby in the womb is still a fish after six months. <laughs> Sacrifice the unborn and give them to science. We need to give these unborn babies to science. <laughs> to advance science. It just looks a bit psycho. You can see these people making vids. They're almost talking shit against unborn babies. <laughs> He has gills, not a real human, <laughs> at eight months old. <laughs> Give him to science. I just find that, like, you know, borderline psycho, looking for excuses to kill babies and give them to science. The fuck is this? You guys are mental. Straight <laughs> up. All right, until next time. Peace.